Now to the latest in the pandemic as the CDC confirms the Omicron variant is now linked to nearly 75% of the nation's new cases. That's based on data ending Saturday, December 18th. Earlier this month, Omicron caused less than 1% of confirmed infections. And the CDC says Omicron is hitting the Northwest and Southeast United States especially hard. Here in South Florida, concerns over infections has led to long lines again at testing sites like this one at Tropical Park. And some people there tell us they waited hours to get a COVID test. And that's not the only thing stemming from the recent increase in cases from hospitalizations to entertainment. We're starting to see the virus affect our lives once again. CBS 4's Joel Waldman joins us live from Tropical Park tonight with more. Joel? Lauren, Jim, one other thing the virus is definitely affecting is people's patience as they wait in these long lines at Tropical Park to get COVID tested. How long have you been waiting online? I think we got online about an hour ago and I already had cut like 30 cars off. So, I mean, and we've still been waiting an hour. How long are you willing to wait online? As long as it takes. I need to take this COVID test, but this is crazy. Patience is but a virtue, right? Let's it certainly it is, yeah, and yeah. Christian Dean packed plenty of it, promising to keep us posted about how long it takes him to wind through this long Tropical Park COVID testing line, all so his dad stays safe this holiday season. I was actually just had a little bit of cough, and my dad's very uh, immunocompromised, so I decided to better be safe than sorry. I, I think the fact that the testing line is long is terrific. It means that we are getting really smart about how to get together this holiday season. University so, of Miami's Dr. Gita Nayar may be one of the few so excited to see such long lines in both Miami-Dade and Broward counties. The same day, Omicron officially became the dominant variant in America. She says it shows just how far we've come in two years, even though it doesn't always feel that way. We have vaccines, we have boosters, we have ways of testing at home. Speaking of coming a long way, it was time to check back in with Christian and his mom. So Christian, it's been exactly an hour since we left you. How you doing? Two hours in and uh, trying to remain optimistic. You still have a smile on your face. Yeah, yeah, it's absurd, but you got to stay happy, right? As Christian and his mom continue to weave their way around the line, even superstar celebrities like Harry Styles have to wait. The Orange Bowl Games Beach Bash concert featuring the Styler Styles is canceled. Miami-Dade, meanwhile, announcing it's put jury duty on pause for two weeks, while some University of Miami hospitals say they're once again banning visitors from visiting patients. And we are back out to a live look of the lines. It is 11.05 Eastern time, and the cars are still piling in to Tropical Park at this hour. We are told by the mayor's office that yesterday there were a little less than 41,000 tests conducted uh, countywide at county-run sites. Meanwhile, we got an update on Christian uh, and his mother. They waited for two hours and 45 minutes. When they got to the front of the line, there were no more rapid uh, testing being done, so they had to go with a good old nasal swab and say that they should have their results within the next 24 to 48 hours, but close to a three-hour wait, and there seems to be no end in sight. Reporting live from tro Tropical Park, Joel Wallman. CBS 4 News. Joel, a long night ahead for those people waiting to be tested and those administering the test. Thank you so much.